Hey man, it's your boy Case, YG. Shout out to my nigga Greedy Gert, Lunchtime Studios, 303, that part. Chilling free, man. You know, that's lovely. That's what's up. So, you lights, look at the lights. Yep. They own me, man. They own you, man, in a good way, though. So, yeah. what's to be expected from you now, man? You know, since you back out, ready to get back in motion? Well, you know, bro, every time they put me away, man, I get to use my mind, sit back and think, you know, Rowdy, my boy Rowdy, he's jigging right now, big pushing. I'm just, I'm just really trying to be team support. But like I always be, you know, I ain't never really push nothing, right? So, of course, I got stuff that I'm working on. I can knock out a few, got a few singles, but Rowdy to push right now That's for YG, up. you know what I'm saying? Of course, I got things working with you and I'm background pushing, but I was going to take my time because I'll be done with the road. Done with the people for the first time in my life in like three months. Yeah. And we taking flights, man. We're out of here tripping. That's good, though. We're tripping. So you pushing the YG moment still? Yeah, it's YG forever. That's what we started as YG. It's YG forever. It's not, and that's, you know, people take it differently as is it a clothing line, is it a, that's what it is to everybody else. To me, it's a lifestyle. That's what I started as back in the day, 2005. I was heavily, you remember me? Yep. Back then, I got, you know what I'm saying? I was heavily in the streets, and YG was a movement on some. Ryder get rolled on, the young ones is active. You know, Rowdy, D-Nice, my little brothers, they took it to the next level once I went to the pen and, and, and made it a, 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 a thing that we have with merchandise and people representing our, our mind state, you know what I'm saying? Which is forever be young, forever be getting. Whatever dream you have, it's, it, it don't matter if you're nine or 99. That dream start off at, at, as an infant in your head, it starts off young, and then you attack that motherfucker. No matter how you get it, you could be trying to be a doctor. That's your dream, that's your young. And how you get it, you go to school. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're pushing now. It ain't like no label or nothing. We all unsigned artists, hungry, still looking for a meal. It's bad break still, you know, I still fuck sure. with it. I'm on for some Denver shit. And YG is, is that. The label, what you say, bro? What is it? The label the what? The squad the label the company. The squad the label the company. The squad the label the company. You heard it here. So tell us some more about um, Rowdy. What Rowdy got going on, bro? Hey, man, Rowdy got this, uh, he got a few singles. He just dropped this uh, major, major single the other day with uh, Band Game Lonnie, my little bro Polo. Salute. That's a good, good, good look. The video is crazy. Shot by the Buddha shooter. So we got that dropping. Uh, Rowdy got they no pumping right now. Snakes against all lies. You know what I'm saying? We about to get a real live YouTube channel pushing and all that shit with the help of our big brother. You know what I'm saying? Who's always been here for us and, and line shit up to go to get this cash. You know what I'm saying? We're we going to be wise. We're going to wise up or dumb, or dumb down. We, don't, we say that we mean that. You know what I'm saying? That, that, so well. it's all easy. You'll, you'll get it all real soon. So um, now that you're out and everything, you just gotta, you know, good refocus and you just yeah, wait to hit that I gas. I really sit back, bro, and then just understand that I'm the big brother of this shit. I started this shit. And the reason why everybody's doing this white shit. So I'm first, I gotta take that role. I gotta take what it is and, and line shit up the way it's supposed to go. Cause I never pushed me right. I never pushed them right. But we done lost a lot of people. Like if you ain't been rocking with YG, if you just jumping on this shit, understand we done lost. We done lost plenty. Plenty that we can't never get back, no matter where this shit take us. Chop, rest in peace. Rock, rest in peace. Broadway, rest in peace. These is our loved ones. You check the videos from back in the day, you'll see it. We done lost a lot. They done put me in the penitentiary a couple times because my name rings. I'm not just playing. Q Nut, that's why you get the difference. Who is, what's his name? Q Nut, Nutcase, that's my gang name. That's what I was. My name is Case, man. I'm a rapper, you know what I'm saying? Entrepreneur pushing this YG shit. I used to be a gang member that's old enough to push my little brothers and then live this dream that we have with our brothers that are no longer here. You feel me? That's what's up, bro, man. So I want to ask you one question outside of everything. So, um, and um, I asked a few other um, artists the same question. So, what's your take on the Nipsey Hustle situation? Man, I don't, you know, Nipsey Hustle was one of my favorite rappers, man. To see that happen to me, it's just like, you gotta still be watching. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I'm, I'm on a different, like, I'm really not gonna get into what I really feel, cause I'm on a different, I feel like I'm on a different way. Like, straight up, different. I just think different, higher. Like, that shouldn't have happened. I feel like it was organized to be catastrophe in our, in our life, but we gotta accept that we had a, a piece of him in our world. That's like Tupac, he's like on a Tupac level to me. Mm -hmm. To 
me just from what he was doing, really living it. And I feel like really, I feel like it's on me to step up and fill that void because that's what I want to do. I don't, I'm trying to stray people away from this dumbass violence that we've been in and killing each other. I mean, I've been there, front line, blood, crunch on my feet, gang. Let me ask you about Denver, Colorado. I've been done all that dumb shit. Just got out the pen, Buna Vista, free little night, free baby bounce. Left some real niggas there that's never coming home. My niggas got the most time out here, so to know a nigga spoke that life and lived that life and was trying to end that life and putting his his whole world on to see the relationship he had with his wife, he was a father. It took more than just Nipsey Hussle, man. They took a, a, a father, you know what I'm saying? It, it hurts, but we got to build from this. If we got to build from from what we losing and understand we got to we gotta come together, homie. That's why I really want everybody to come together at one point in our life because it's more, it's bigger than rap, homie. It's deeper than rap. A lot of people said that and if they really meant that, I understand what they're saying. It's deeper than this rap. This is just a, an elevator to get us where we really want to be on Trump level, you feel me? And he was on that level. That nigga made a song called Fuck Donald Trump. He's mm-hmm. the president, homie. Mm-hmm understand how heavy that is that's a lot of weight and have people riding behind you he saw his funeral was at the staples center yep. a lot of people love this man and that love is still here and i want to get some of it man, and try to push that we got i told you what i got i got some shit for y'all on some deeper level shit that sos yep. save our sons watch watch what i do i'm trying to be different I'm trying we to be different us with tupac so we should be expecting a lot from you huh yeah but i'm gonna do it quietly because i just do it just to do it you know what I'm saying? I want the team to be on. We got a, we got a lot of people in my camp. You know what I'm saying? That's that's pushing my son. I'm a, I'm a father. My son is cold with the sports shit, but I know I can do it from just the backgrounds and help everybody do what they, you know what I'm saying? What they got to do. I still got to be a dad at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? My son is ridiculous. I got kids, beautiful kids. You know what I'm saying? So you could expect a lot, but you probably, I got a book already done. I'm about to publish a book. I got a book, it's called Kiss Me Out of the Road, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put it out, but I'm just putting it out. I ain't really gonna charge nothing like that. Just if you rock with YG, you rock with YG. If you get there when this shit's about to take off, it's about to take off. But I'm just fuck with us. Get to know us. We real people. That's what's up, man. Well, we appreciate your time though, Case, and we're glad that you home and so, we'll be waiting to hear what you got brewing in store for us though, bro. Great, man. Anything you wanna say to the listeners, your fans, family, friends, anybody out there? Hey man, thanks to everybody that's been rocking with it for the long run. Anybody that's just now getting noticed, hey, get ready to rock with us for the long run. It's YG. Y'all gonna have to fuck with us. Straight up. Wise. Watch. Thank y'all.